Hey everyone, today I want to show you what is in my swimming bag and this is an updated version and it's just also I wanted to show you all of the waterproof products or products that I like using to swim or in the summer that'll stay on all day. They all have SPF and yeah, so I wanted to go through that and then also show you what's in my bag, do an outfit of the day, all those videos, all those combined to this one. <laughs> Okay, so first off, this is my swim bag, uh, beach bag, swimmer bag, whatever, or pocket. It has a pocket, and what I like to put in here is my sunglasses and phone that just go right there. First thing is my beach towel. I've had this beach towel for years now. In this bag, it is like filled up because it has products that I like to use, like lotion products that I will show you and get into. The top is my Ibiza Soul After Sun Balm. This has been used up quite a bit because um, I put it on my shoulders and anywhere I got like a little bit of a sunburn. I also like to take a little deodorant just because you're going to be running around in the sun all day. Sometimes your deodorant wears off. They're not like water resistant sometimes. Um, and I just don't want, I want to smell fresh all day. So I'll take a deodorant. And also in here I have my Mark Do The Right Thing. This is a body lotion that has SPF 15 because my skin gets really dry when I get out of the water. I have a Nexus Pro Mend. This is a split in binding uh, overnight treatment. I put it on during, um, when I get out of the water, I put this on my ends and it really does not, uh, the chlorine doesn't break it out. I also have in here a spray. This is a leave-in conditioner that I, put on my my hair before I get into the water. I put this on my hair. And um, I'm really careful about my hair because I have thin hair, I have long hair, and I have uh, colored hair. So um, all, all those chlorine is just a bad mix for all of those. So I put this in my hair before I get into the water. I completely saturate it with this. The way I made this is I put this much conditioner and then filled it up to the top with water and that's I made my own leave-in conditioner, very easy. I take my um, wet skin sunblock spray. This is SPF 85 from Neutrogena. I love Neutrogena's, all their sunblock sprays. Apparently I have another lotion. This is called, this is whipped up, it's a body butter. Um, I like to take several lotions just because my skin gets really dry, so I don't like that feeling. Then I take a tanning spray. This is um, a protective tanning oil. It has SPF 15. And yeah, it's just an oil. It's infused with carrots and banana extract. When I, if I'm gonna tan, I put this on. I also have a Banana Boat Sport SPF 30. Then I always take my Mark The Big Fix. Um, it is just a balm, like, a balm like this that you can put on any rough spot, any um, anything that you want to fix quickly, any flyaways, stubborn eyebrows, um, rough elbows, rough heels, or um, the balls of your feet get rough. Just anything like that. You, I like to take this when I go swimming. Um, that's it for what was in this bag. But I also carry my smaller one. And in this has my makeup that I like to take. Well, I don't know why I did this. It's my makeup that I like to take. I have in here a missed opportunity. This I love for when I go swimming. I spritz it on my face after I'm done swimming and it just works like a charm. I also like to take my Kissing Lip Marker Lip Tint just in case this wears off, uh, which it won't most likely, but in case it does, I like to take that. Also gonna take my Totally Balmed in Totally Hot which is the one I have I always want to put SPF on my lips like I keep smoothing it over all day long and I'm also going to take just in case I'm done with the water and or I don't know sometimes I want a lip gloss I'm going to take my Mark Juice Gems in Raspberry because it goes with the red lips so I like to take my I Heart New York oh, mints they gave us these in New York um, really good also I'm taking my I Heart New York really glittery um, mirror that I bought in New York taking a hair tie for my hair. I'm taking bobby pins. 
these are all like on one I like to take bobby pins because sometimes I want to put my hair in a ballerina bun or the milkmaid braids and I need bobby pins to do that okay I am going to take my powder just in case I want to I'm done and I want to reapply and I'm going to take my um, bare minerals kabuki brush this is the one that came in the gold set apparently I'm taking a mint <laughs> breath mint I like to take my Ula Lift from Benefit because um, I get really dark under eye circles. So that's it what's in this bag, just um, those items that I pointed out. And in the rest of what's in here is my flip-flops because um, I'm wearing kind of like wedges and you always need flip-flops. These are really cute. They got a little bow here, they're patent red. They are from Aldo, so that's backwards. I'm also taking my camera case. And I'm going to take an extra swimsuit just in case. I always kind of take extra things because you never know. And what else? The other thing I'm going to take is my hat. Um, this is from the Mark Rio collection. I like it. It has blue because I'm wearing mostly black and red, black, white, and red. And blue really brings it out. Of course, my glasses. So I'm going to show you real fast. This looks funny. Real fast, uh, my outfit, and then I'm gonna head out of the door because we are leaving. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I tweeted that, or I blogged that I wanted a vintage style bathing suit, and I was looking online, and then I was like, wait a minute, I have one. So I dug in my closet and pulled it out. I bought this at a thrift store. It's connected with the bottom little like black skirt. It's kind of short, but it is a bathing suit. Um, it's black and white striped and it has this like red belt and it goes down really low on my back. So down here, um, it has a black squirt that is connected, like I said, and under it has all of the um, bathing suit stuff. But uh, yeah. And I'll be wearing my Mark um, stacked up wedges just because they're cute. They're black and red or they're black and white. They have that. I've shown you guys these before. These are like my favorite, but they're super tall, and um, I'm just going to wear them to the party, and then when we go swimming, I'm going to put on those red flip flops that I showed you guys. And my toes are not red. They are more of um, like an orange, like a deep coral. Turn this way. Um, so yeah, they're not like purposely matching, matchy. So I'm just going to show you how I did this makeup, which is very natural, but everything is tinted and it'll stay on all day. Um, an extra thing that I'm going to put on really fast that I didn't, it is my Glowdacious in Shimmied Up. I want to put this on just because um, it's fun, <laughs> but um, I know it's going to wear off, which is okay. Put this on like a blush right there, nose, forehead. This is just going to give me a little bit of a glow. First thing I'm going to do is apply a tinted moisturizer. I'm using Marc Get a Tint. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to apply a... I'm going to spray a little bit of this Neutrogena um, Humidity Wet Sunblock. Um, it's supposed to give you extra strength on wet skin. I'm going to spray it on my hand like this. And apply it to the face. Now I'm just gonna uh, my dog open the door. Just gonna place my tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna place this um, Benefit po Posy tint. I said it wrong last time. In um, I guess just the color Posy tint. I'm gonna place that on my cheeks. What I'm gonna do is place a bit on the back of my hand like this. Just tap it on like this. Tap it on my cheek. On my lips, I'm going to place Mar uh, Mark Kissing. And this is just one of those lip uh, tints. So it looks like a marker. Place this on my lips. So this will stay on all day long. And I really like... Um, the red. Before that, I'm going to apply Mark Totally Bombed in Totally Hot. This is a SPF tinted lip balm. It's 
pretty dark over the red. Just curl my lashes. Not gonna apply any liner, any shadow, anything like that. Okay, so then I'm going to apply my mascara. The mascara I'm using, for some reason, it is not waterproof, but it does not come off. Um, it is the Pixi Lash Booster Mascara. And the first time I put this on, it left my lashes beautiful. They were like standing up. It was amazing. Um, left the curl, gave good definition. But then when I went to take it off at night, it was not coming off at all. And it was freaking me out. I um, was like, put on my makeup remover, eye makeup remover, towelettes, wash my face, took a shower, wash my face again. It was not coming off from my lashes. And um, then the next morning, and then I fell asleep. I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> It'll just stay there. Then the next morning I washed my face again. They were still there, seriously. So um, I didn't have to put on mascara that day, but it still freaked me out because I was like, oh no, I'm going to have permanent mascara on like for the rest of my life, which is okay. Then that night I went home, washed my face, eye makeup remover, and it came off. Like it started coming off a little bit more. So this mascara, for some reason, it doesn't say waterproof. It doesn't say that there's some mascara that lasts three days. This doesn't say that. So I don't know. I don't know if I got a bad one. I don't know if they're all like this. I just know that now I use this to go swimming. It does not flake. It does not come off. So I love it for that reason. I hope that they're all like this so that I'll always have a waterproof mascara. But it didn't say that like in the bottle or anything, in the box or anything. So, so that's that. For right now, I am going to put on powder. I'm not going to keep reapplying powder all day long. I'm just going to put it on for right now. The powder I'm using is this uh, Hello Flawless by Benefit. My color is in Honey. And this does has F SPF 15. Just to add to the SPF that I've, I've already put on. So that's it. Just put your hat on. And your sunglasses and you are ready to go.